What's up guys, Jacob Owens here for The Buff Nerds, and today I want to talk to you about how you can become a full-time videographer or filmmaker and make an actual living off of it. Probably one of the most common questions I get all around from all my social media channels, whether it's YouTube, Twitter, or specifically Instagram, is how do I make a living off videos or questions about how you guys can make a living or how you can grow that you just started making videos and you're trying to progress and get bigger clients and you know how to just basically progress and make it a full-time job for you guys. Just questions from people all across the board looking to fully take on filmmaking, making videos as a full-time job and make a good living off of it so they can support themselves and a family down the road. So really quickly, brief history about me. I started shooting videos in high school for fun, then I decided to go to ASU Film School. Went to film school at ASU. And I'll touch on film school whether it's needed or not in a minute. But went to film school at ASU and at ASU I started shooting music videos. Once I started shooting music videos, I started ditching class and going to LA to shoot music videos. I started shooting local music videos in Arizona and I'd start flying around the country as my name grew and built. And then finally I was getting called to LA so much to do videos, I just moved to LA permanently to start shooting music videos. And that's kind of how I got started in the industry, was doing music videos. Now, another common question I get is film school. Is it worth it? It depends. Do you have a lot of money to spend? Are you willing to go into debt? And is the film school you're gonna go to going to be worth it? The film school I went to at ASU, it was a very poor film school. Um, there was not a lot of hands-on experience with gear. There was just not a lot of knowledge going around, um, you know, the different classes, the teachers weren't that great, the connections you made weren't that great, and you weren't put in a position after film school to be in the industry. Now, if you go to a trade school out in Los Angeles, like Brooks Institute or Chapman, they have programs in place to get you jobs. The infrastructure is there. You meet a lot of people. You're kind of already surrounded in the industry because you're in LA and in that circle. They also have a lot of hands-on experience with top-notch gear from the industry and people in the industry. So if you're going to go a film school route and you can afford it or you're willing to take out the loan to do that, those are the type of schools I would recommend. I wouldn't recommend a film school from some college in the middle of the country or a school near you if you live in Idaho or Arizona or what have you. Where I learned the most and where I really grew was going out and just doing it shooting videos, shooting films, or anything I could get my hands on to build my name. So now I'm gonna go into the top five pieces of advice I can give to you guys to basically turn you know, videography and filmmaking into a career for yourselves. Number one is shoot all the time, whether paid or not. So many people get caught up in they, they're only gonna work if it's a paid gig. When I started shooting music videos, I shot tons of free music videos. The artist Kyle that's now nationwide blowing up, I shot the first 20 of his videos for free. I was trying to build my name as a director. I didn't really care about getting paid. I was getting paid around two to $300 for local music videos and stuff like that to shoot, edit, everything. But I would reach out to artists that I either liked or that were bigger and offer to shoot free videos. And the reason was, as I was looking to network, I was looking to grow my, not only my reel and my work, but my network of people and the people around me. So by shooting these music videos for these bigger artists and growing not only my work and my reel that I could push onto other people, other bigger artists or bigger names and people, clients, would take notice of that video and then they would hire me to do something. And because they're up here and now I'm doing a video for them, a bigger artist or client that has their eye on this person noticed that, loved the work, and they'd hire me. So don't get caught up in you have to do a paid gig. You gotta go out and pay your dues. You gotta do the work it takes to build your name. Like I said, I did countless of free work, not only for the network to build and build relationships because that's what the industry is. It's built on relationships. I've gotten all my biggest jobs from just knowing someone or them liking me and bringing me onto a project. So don't get caught up in the money and that you only can do a paid job because you will kill your career right there. That leads me into tip number two, which is don't have an ego and network and do free work. Reach out to people and connect with them. That's where you're gonna grow is by building relationships. 
constantly I meet new people and because I meet them, they like me, they bring me onto a project of theirs and then I do a job and I get paid for that job. And because I'm on that job, I happen to meet someone else on that job that likes me and likes my work and they bring me onto another job they have and it just keeps going and going. Networking is the most important part to this industry and becoming a full-time filmmaker videographer and making a living off of it. The more people you know, the more people that know of you, the more work you're gonna get. So network, reach out to people constantly and don't be afraid to take free work. Number three is build a reel and a website. Now with all this work that you've collected and you've created, build a reel to show off your talents that you can then pitch to people. So early on, I took all these videos that I had you know, done for this artist or this artist and I built a reel and then I would use that reel to pitch to bigger artists like, hey, you know, love your work, you know, love your music, would love to shoot a music video for you. Um, you know, here's my, here's my work, here's my reel, check it out. I would send countless emails every day to different artists or people I wanted to work with and you're guaranteed to not get a lot of responses. It's gonna happen. But that one response you do get out of the, all the emails you send is worth it. That's just the way it works. You have to throw as many lines into the water as you can. And if you, you happen to land one, good. And that's gonna lead to something else and just help build. And again, a website. You're gonna develop that website, look professional. You can direct people to your website. You can direct them to your reel. You wanna look professional. You wanna show people the work that you can do and the work that you do is of high caliber and that they want you to produce their content. So look professional, get a reel, get a website. Number four is reach out constantly. You need to reach out constantly and that's still something today that I could even do better of. Whether it's email, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, throw as many lines out into the water as you can and hopefully one lands. I can't tell you how many companies that you know, I've landed either jobs with or brands that I've you know, sent me free gear just because I've reached out to them. They would have never found me on their own, they would have never emailed me on their own, but because I emailed them and showed them like, hey, here's my statistics, here's my work, I love your product, I wanna work with you, they in turn wanna work with me and they're like, oh wow, he can really benefit us. And then it leads to not only more work for me, but more brands working with me that I can use again for my reel, for my website, to again pitch out to other companies and brands. Number five is be professional and efficient. I can't tell you how important this is. If you are not professional and you're not efficient with your work, whether it's on production or the post-production end, you're gonna lose clients, they're not gonna come back to you, and you're gonna lose that work. And word of mouth may get around to other companies or people or artists, whatever the type of work is you're doing, that this person is not professional, they're not good, don't hire them. Be professional, be timely, be efficient, and you will get clients coming back to you for more and more work. More work, more money, more work, more other work. Be professional and be nice. People wanna work with professional and nice people. They wanna work with people they like. They don't wanna work with some asshole, sorry for my language, but that's just, that's just facts. When you do a project, work hard on it, get it done, get it back to the client, and have them be like, wow, like he, he did a great job and he was so timely with it. Because if you produce something faster and get them back faster than someone else they've had before, guess who they're gonna go with next time they need a project? They're gonna go with you, the person who did it faster. All right guys, I tried to sum up my best pieces of advice for becoming a full-time videographer and filmmaker and how to sustain that and make a really good living off of it. You can make a really good living off of it. I know I do, I know plenty of other people that do as well but it takes a lot of hard work. You're not gonna do it by just sitting back in your chair and doing nothing. So take all of these steps into consideration, work hard, and then you will find success. All right guys, I hope you appreciate this video. I hope it answers a lot of your questions. If you guys still have certain questions about particular things, um, let me know in the comments below. It's hard for me to condense everything into such a small YouTube video. So again, comments, leave them below, drop a like, leave a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I kind of mentioned all that stuff, but appreciate you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. <sighs> Buff Nerds out, peace.